my friends and welcome to this super duper exciting video today. I'm outside Ikea and I will be going in. I am focusing on like toy storage and organizational items. I'm not going to lie. We were here a few weeks ago and we've already spent hundreds of pounds. So <laughs> I will show you the storage unit that we already bought and put up in our office room later on. But what I'm planning to do is basically go in, have a look, especially through that like kids rooms section and like, you know, the showrooms that they've got. Maybe grab a cup of coffee. We'll see. I also say so the two items that I want to grab that I know I want from last time is just like plastic boxes and also um, baskets. So baskets for the unit that I've mentioned earlier. So before all of that, I'm Alina Ghost. I am actually a mum content creator. I do daily shorts and videos like this. So two long form videos a week for you guys. So if you're interested in any of that, I'd love for you to join our community and basically hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into Ikea and have some fun. Definitely a lot less people than last time we were here after Christmas. This is quite good for the new office room. For some papers, some folders. So I'm gonna zoom past the kitchen area. If you've been on my vloggings and my videos before, you'll know that we're waiting to save up for an extension. So at the moment we're doing with an awful kitchen and we don't have any space for any of these nice things. Lots of good storage under the bed. Let me pan out. nice little study area and I love these little caddies as well for the toiletries not toiletries a toweling we bought this you'll see that later when I show you our office room I'm going straight for the plastic boxes nice that they're stackable and there's loads and loads of them just wear the lids Oh, I guess, is it these? They don't come off, really. Food container. Without the lids. <laughs> I might be missing something, but I definitely can't see the lids. Unless they're down here. No, these ones have lids. So that's strange. Good for sweeties, biscuits, cup of teas, or tea bags, rather. <laughs> this is cute. Nice little area. Ooh. Very zen. And another kitchen area, making me super jealous of people who have kitchens. Guys, we don't even have an oven at home. So I don't know what I'm doing in here. 
<laughs> it's very nice, very cosy. I love all these cushions as well. Let me show you. Nice texture. Oh, this is perfect for like toys. It actually comes out by the looks of things. So it becomes even bigger than that. I like that. Okay. Moving on a little bit more. I do see some plastic boxes here. So if you need a plastic box, like tote boxes, which I do, I will be getting later. And this is the place to go. Right, living space. Didn't I just come through here? <laughs> That's the other thing, is that you can easily get lost in Ikea. Pretty sure I didn't come through here. There you go, big furniture, nice big chairs, sofa armchairs, bedside units, little tables, beds, more cushions. Oh my goodness, how lovely. Let's have a nosy around the kids' stuff. So, activity things, painting items, paintbrushes, lots of arts and crafts bits. I like that unit up there actually. Nice display and then lots and lots of storage above that. Oh, I'm pretty sure these are the baskets that I need. I don't know whether it's the weave my husband wants, so I'm gonna double check that. I'm gonna ask him to send me a link, but I think it looks like that. <laughs> or at least it's that shape. So that's something I'll be picking out later. And I'm going to have a look at some other storage ideas. I love the idea of putting stuff under here. Also like hats, gloves and scarves. It's something that I need at the moment, but we've not got to the porch yet. But really good idea for like shoes and other items, especially as you walk in. Nice little bedroom here. Lots of ideas for storage here as well. So these are obviously more kid friendly. I like that they're, they're not quite felt like, like material, like it feels like linen, but like caddies and things to put like toys and things into. Whoops, I got it stuck. Embarrassing as I cooked that on camera. <laughs> so we've got numbers here, which is good for kids to learn all their numbers and what they look like. Lego. So if you've got Lego fans, this might be a good one. Little trinkets and things and a nice little wardrobe. Perfect for a nursery or something like that. Let me have a nosy. Oh, with some separators and organizers. I love it. Nice little toddler bed. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus today, so I do apologise. Oh, there are the rest of the numbers up there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Looking nice. Nice little caddies. Lots and lots of items. Don't know about you guys, but I don't have a tumble dryer, so I always look at how I can dry my items better. Oh, lovely for like toiletries would be good, not just your face towels. Nice towels. Hmm. And then this is the bedroom with like built in wardrobes, or at least it looks like it's built in or should be built in. Lots of shelves, more caddies. So these are super great idea for anything. Little things, you know, everybody always has something that they need to put in there whether it's keys or more organizers so if you've got like makeup bits 
that's a really good idea and I have this trolley at home full of toys but it's in white so it does come in different colors and honestly I've used this from newborn stuff to my toiletries and now it's back to having toys in there so it's a multifunctional trolley and it's like different levels it doesn't have to be three it could be bigger um, so yeah I absolutely love ours and I very much recommend it another tip for you guys as it's a Monday and a strange time like midday that I'm going it's very empty compared to where, what it was last time it was a that bit in between Christmas and New Year so it was super busy lots of kids around but not today I like this although I can't quite figure out what it's for is it oil is it syrup lovely little basket thingies I got one of these for home actually last time I bought that for a plant pot lots of organization ideas another caddy that's felt definitely got something similar at home lots of like furniture bits Ooh. this looks cute so ideas for office actually not just toys but toys could easily go in here and hide really nicely for some folders bigger folders well, this is the same size who knows different boxes you can even label them I don't know why it doesn't want to focus but yeah bigger box as well and then I like these you can like put your pens and pencils into so that's really good nice cool lamp it's a good idea I've got so many cushions in the bedroom maybe a basket is a good idea for that and then here's the kids section well at least it looks a little bit more bright and colourful like a family home which is nice I've got like fun tents storage ideas another storage idea that's that's a cool unit just hide everything in there and I've got something similar to this last time but a different color same size different color so mine was green with an owl on it I think but they're really good idea or something mesh it's a good idea for bigger items or for like soft toys lots of shelving I even like the ideas of like the photo frames baskets for oh I think this is the unit that we got for home actually and we actually added a smaller one on top of it so this is it and these are the baskets to go with it but we wanted the more rattan looking ones and you can actually buy some like um, sh um, drawers in here so you can completely customize your units which is cool and I think it's the one that everybody's raving about really because you can just stick this in the living room put all the toys in one of the baskets one of these and nobody's gonna be none the wiser or well, anybody's going to be none the wiser bad grammar sorry guys <laughs> but let me pan out see if there's anything else so similar unit there like a bigger one it looks like so if you need fatter wider ones nice little doors to go with it as well I wouldn't be surprised if these are customizable as well in terms of color so yeah as you can see there's some drawers great idea for a kids room and then if I turn around they're more mirrored ones so a lot more classy good for like a even like a corridor like a hallway to get lots of light in that space put these mirrors up there and lots of space at the same time there we go it comes in the gray as well i told you a nice light wood darker wood black and white 
plenty of choice, another mirrored one. And even glass, love it. Lots of things to choose from. Mm, nice colored baskets. I like it. Oh, I like these. Nice little baskets, organizers. Can you tell I'm drawn to baskets? <laughs> Look, you can even have them in there. Look, if you've got somewhere, like a wardrobe, that, that is a very good point. I think I'm going to pick up one of these. Hmm. I got one of these actually and put the dog toys in there at home. So the dog toys are currently in there. Then this is a kitchen area. Let's not get too excited. It's a hub of lots of busyness, of lots of people over here having a look around. Can't wait to do that next year. <laughs> You'll laugh, but I actually got one of these and put pens and pencils in there instead of like cutlery <laughs> for our new office desk. So a lot more trolleys that I mentioned earlier and I actually have this one. So they come in different colours as well, black, blue, yellow, nice, and some have lids. So if you wanted to use that in the kitchen, that's a good idea. But as I said before, multifunctional, we used it for toys, toiletries, kids clothes, you name it. But yeah, love it, very much recommend, I had it for years and it's £25. Nice. And there's a bigger one. Oh, it's a teeny weeny one. And a much bigger one. More cutlery organisers, very much recommended by other vloggers I've watched. Can't wait to get one of these. Look how huge your drawer needs to be to fit that in. <laughs> More cutlery. So we're coming up to the bedrooms. I know we've seen all, some already, but I think this is the main section for the bedroom, so I'm hoping for the kids' bedroom soon as well. But look at these cushions to die for. <laughs> Wardrobes, built-in stuff. If you want like little drawers, there's some options here. Lovely bathroom accessories. And let's move on to the next section. There you go, if you've got lots of like toiletry bits that you need to organise. Shoes, huge, huge luxurious bedroom with a bath inside. <laughs> See, those trolleys are used again. They're easy to move, they're on wheels. And each time I look at them, I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I got one. <laughs> Oh, it's that basket again that I need, but I don't know whether it's that weave or not. I have to check. I like this. Laundry. Mm, basket. On wheels. That's cool. I took a look at these um, bedside units last time, actually, because I really like them. I have a wooden one, but my other half has a really old one, so... Definitely looking to replace that. This one's really nice actually. Open. Oh, it goes all the way back. Oh, blimey. There we go. So this is the basket that I got last time. It's got an owl on it and it's the green one that I've mentioned earlier. We also got this and put his uh, dressing gown on there it's at the back of his door so that's another option for organizers i told you we spent quite a lot last time that we came to ikea a couple of weeks ago a few weeks ago <laughs> lots of other baskets and things good ideas like a newborn what is it changing table lots of caddies 
nice different patterns love it what else is in here just like face cloths and things oh very sweet oh look at this i love this either for like baby kids clothes you know or you can even put hats and gloves on there yay the kids section I'm liking the idea of drawers, especially those that you can see into. And how fabulous to use bins, literal bins for items. You can do that with like stuffed toys and any toys you might have in the living room. Just have like a big bin in the middle. <laughs> nice little, little colorful boxes. More of these easy to get to drawers. They've got them all over, nice and colorful. And you can customize in terms of color. Love it. Ooh. Nice little pockets for things. I've just broken it. <laughs> Awkward. But yeah, little things. I could easily fit like cars in there. Pens and pencils. My son loves cars, in case you're wondering. Um, let's go see this one. <laughs> I love that. That's super cute. Oh. What a lovely idea for toys. That's great. And a little wardrobe with some storage at the top. This is great for books. We've got a sling, but I'm thinking about getting something like this as well. For lots and lots of books, lots and lots of reading. There's another idea for sh like a shelf for books, or photo frames. I like this. And it moves. Nice. Uh -huh. bedding options galore and here we are those boxes that we saw earlier don't only come in orange but white pink gray and I think I just spotted a blue one behind no but that would be interesting for like arts and crafts bit Oh, I like the idea of this, like seating and storage at the same time, so like an ottoman kind of thing. It's more of a drawer, to be honest, and you've got like a padded seat on top. Let me try and sit down on it. <laughs> yeah, very good. Good idea. Multifunctional. I like it. Oh, that is sweet. With a little, little boxes in it. That's really nice. And a caddy like a laundry basket I guess nice color another bin smaller size so 
so I've got my coffee and uh, although it was halfway, it like, took me like an hour to get through. <laughs> but um, basically in the canteen, I do recommend bringing your own snacks or like food for the kids because the queues are massive. Last time we didn't even end up eating anything, just got drinks, so you like pay for your cup before you get your drink from the machine. But there's a kids area as well in the middle, which is quite nice. Much needed. And then I will tackle the second part with you guys, but already so many organizational and storage ideas. It's fantastic. Look to your right as you walk through. You see four. Don't do that in the middle. So this is obviously not the showroom. These are just like things that you can go along and pick up. So that is part two of Ikea. First, the first part is like all the showrooms and then the second part are things that you can pick up and actually, if you like something in the showrooms, you can, you can get here as well. I think it's towards the end. But I got some of these last time as well. Put some toys in there, put some Christmas things in there. They do come with lids. They're fantastic actually really recommend them i like that they're see-through you can see loads of things more like kitchen bits bowls i like the look of those and then once i have a kitchen we'll definitely get some organization done there as well but lots and lots of like storage bits nice like deep pots if you like soup and things that you you can make and put in there if you like soup well if you've got anything that you can go in there really <laughs> oh i like this like little table oh and bowls that stack in so a good space saver more of those cutlery organizers we we'll actually use that for pens and pencils and put that in the drawer which worked nicely for us i do like these actually maybe when we've got that extension sorted i'll do something nice with the dining room table nice tray actually a bit small though for my liking i like a bigger tray like mm. oh this one turns into a little table Oh, bathroom organizers so I'm guessing this is the bathroom section this is a good organizational thing for toiletries I like the green color like a khaki green and I think these are the baskets that you put together and I think I need to pick up three I like how deep this one is. And this one even has a lid. I love, love, love. Different colours, different shades, different sizes. Beautiful. And this is like so robust as well. Like a big palm tree should go in here. <laughs> So that top one is a good idea for under bed storage. So if you've got any space under the bed, don't waste it. Organize it. Clothes, toys, Christmas things, you name it. These are probably good for like the garage or the shed. So I'm gonna meet you at home guys. I'm gonna show you my haul and I'm gonna show you the office as promised. Hi friends, I am back and I am in the office room as I promised. And actually what I'm gonna do is show you a bit of like a panoramic view so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to turn you around. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We've literally redecorated it. My husband did the floor recently, but this is the unit that I was talking about. Well, actually it's two units. And I do apologize for the light, there you go. 
So that's one unit of four that we put on top of this one. It is secured and my husband and my brother-in-law actually secured it to the wall as well so that if I jiggle it, <laughs> it won't fall on us, which is great. And then there's a bigger sort of eight sections at the bottom there. We did have to buy these um, um, legs from B&Q, so it wasn't from Ikea, it was from B&Q, and add those in because of the skirting board, so that it can actually lean against the wall and that there's no gap there. So do keep that in mind if you've got a skirting board, but we absolutely love it here. The things that I wanted to talk about is basically, these are the baskets that I literally just got and my husband assembled just now for me, which is amazing. And look how nice and spacious they are. I've already managed to put an A4 folder in here full of things. But I'm planning to reorganise some of our like um, house documents and things to put in there. Really boring stuff. But basically things that need to be done. As I mentioned about the shelves earlier. Literally, I don't know what my camera is doing. It doesn't want to focus. There you go. Can you see them? There you go, the drawers. Let me move this little bin out of the way. But yeah, basically we've got drawers at the bottom here. We've got baskets going along. Oh, these things, do ignore that. That's the shelves to go in that corner here. So a couple of bits that we did get from Ikea as well. So this is the tray that I showed you earlier. And basically it's like a little organizer there. You've got things that you can put in there. Like usually it's pens and pencils, but at the moment, because literally they did the unit on the weekend, there's still a few screws and plugs in here. Um, my hand cream, <laughs> very important. <laughs> and then the other thing that I pointed out was the cutlery tray that I'm now using as a little organizer for my office things, which works really good. Well, really well, <laughs> works really well. So the other thing that I got today was this box here. So that's the tote plastic box and it comes with a lid, but I can't currently shut it. But I got five of these and we're definitely going to be using them as, as I mentioned, whether it's for Christmas things, for toys and for, as you can see, some garage bits. So we'll see what else we can use that for. I got five. For, so one is three pounds and I thought that was such a steal. So I'm definitely going to be back for more. And basically, the last thing I wanted to show you are these doors. So let me see if I can reach. But basically, you've got the ability to customise your units to what you want. So if you wanted some doors or shelves here or drawers, you could do that. So I drew this out on a piece of paper first and this came to life. How good is that? So friends, last but not least, I wanted to finish up with some toy storage organisation. I spoke about this in another video, so I'm not going to be talking too much about it. But the first one is basically what I showed you in Ikea, and that is that. So that is where we put our train things into. So as you can see, it's on the floor at the moment. But what I do when we want to put it away and don't want to play with it anymore, or like toy rotation, basically. And this is the other item in situ. So as I've shown you in Ikea, that was like these hooks in different colours. We put it at the back of this door. I don't know whether to paint like the wooden into white so that it actually blends in with the door. But I kind of actually like it. So I don't know, I'll keep it for now and we'll see how it goes. So I can honestly go on and on, but I think I'm going to leave it here. I think I had a really super productive and like an amazing and fun Ikea trip. Like I know Ikea can be so much fun with the showrooms and actually looking at all the items as well. So thank you for coming along. I hope that you enjoyed it too. And I'm sure to do another one soon. So thanks so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.